It's called The Most Beautiful, My Life with Prince. And it was basically my life to meeting Prince at 16 and then keeping a friendship with him until I turned 18 and then working with him and starting a relationship with him after that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was um, it was beautiful and, and funny. There were times that, you know, he stole my makeup. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Stand up, girl. <laughs> not break the microphone. Hey, what's up? I'm MJ. And I'm Bree. And we're just a couple of Vegas girls. Living the not-so-Vegas life. Yeah, but we're not regular Vegas girls. We're cool Vegas girls. Kind of. And this is the Keeping It Casual podcast. Where we talk about everything and nothing all at once. Let's do it. I like when you sang it out. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I love that song. Stupid movie. <laughs> Good evening, you guys. Uh, first off, we are um, we're hanging out back at the Tivoli Village with the the cool breeze. The cool breeze. It is officially fall in Vegas. It's the most fabulous spot to have our most fabulous guest yet. So before we uh, before we introduce that fabulous guest, yes. we need to give a shout out to this month's sponsors. That's right. So Pole Fitness Studio, yes, hosting our live show Saturday, October twenty sixth. Dance and fitness for everyone all month of October. You can get one month membership. Includes all classes and a one hour personal studio time daily for only $69. Oh my goodness, that is such an amazing deal. I've been taking classes there. Yes. Now I need to give a big shout out and thank you to Alternative Dream Clothing. Their t shirt of the month donates 100% uh, to a different charity. That's so cool. We've both rocked some dope oh, yeah. tees from them. They're Go to cool alternativedreamclothing.com and use code KEEPERS for 10% off and free shipping all of October. <sighs> Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I, I'm, I'm ready. Ple- hashtag please be jealous. Okay. Hashtag be jealous. <laughs> hashtag I'm like holding on to my nipples right now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we have such an incredible treat for you today. We have entrepreneur, artist, performer, author, singer, dancer, philanthropist, so much, an all-around legend, and fun fact, Prince's first wife. Yes, we will get into that a little later, but give it up for my take, my Garcia. take Garcia. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank so, you for having me. Thank you. I mean, first of all, sitting here with the sweetest little rescue little baby. Rescue we talked baby. about philanthropists, yes. but please tell us who you're holding right now. I'm holding Zuli, and Zuli oh is my latest adoption. Actually, I adopted her a week ago. We actually know we're gonna be on two weeks now. Um, I rescued her from a Miami shelter. There's a beautiful rescue that only rescue senior dogs called true faithful rescue and um I just lost my Ziggy, which was another dog that I had. Aww. He was the mascot to Mighty's Rescue because yeah. the worst. he was found on a <gasps> on a freeway in a crate left to die. <gasps> oh my god. Completely emaciated and I and I nursed him back to health. He passed away and I'm sorry. something about me just I don't know why, but there's a sp- the special needs dogs get to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I needed that and Dooley has is thirteen years old supposedly. And she's missing her lower jaw. That is insane. She has but the sweetest girl angel you baby even face. Tell. You, you know, can't even she tell, girl. Eats. Ooh, she eats. She does not care. <laughs> like, as soon as I saw her, I got all like choked up before you even told me any story. I was like, oh my God, this sweet little and angel baby right here. And she's been through so much trauma. Oh, yeah. and she's she's been, st- they, I mean, they used her for breeding and then they just dumped her when she wasn't uh, producing anymore. Can I take a little my, snap of her of right course. now, cuddling with you? I'm going to do Zooli. a quick little snappy. One, two, so, three. Oh, you guys. Okay. Oh. She's just like cuddling like a baby. So, a question, senior dogs are so great yeah, to adopt, right? Yeah. The the dog that you had before her. Yeah. You, Ziggy? Ziggy was the mascot, huh? What, did you mascot. find him out here in Vegas? No, no in, in LA. In LA, in, uh, yeah, Riverside, California. Of course, it was in Riverside. <laughs> I'm from I'm from um, oh. I'm from Los Angeles, so I can talk crap about those <laughs> areas. <laughs> like all my all my family moved inland to like San Bernardino area, so like oh, I, yeah. I know what it's like over there. The shelters over there are horrible. Mm-hmm. I, you know, it, it's true, and like I, I I try to go to the shelters out here just to hug dogs just for yeah. a little bit because like they they really need it. They really dogs really need just just love and like I'm gonna start crying like I love dogs so much <laughs> there's They're too much like, there's too much eyeliner don't cry I know I can't I can't <laughs> I can't get the uh, yeah, eyeliner off but um <laughs> the, the one thing I always say about dogs is like they're the only creature on this planet that will love you unconditionally no right. matter what mm-hmm. you do to them mm-hmm. it's true 
It is sad. True. Well, also just saying they need love. Like yeah. seriously, you have my Tay's rescue. So what are things like people? You know, sometimes I'm like going through my Goodwill stuff. I'm like yeah. giving, donating clothes and stuff, and I'm like, well, I have all these old blankets or old towels and stuff. Is that a good yes a good donation Pillows. for? Yeah, because I mean, I, I didn't. You know, I, I rescued this one for myself personally, but mm-hmm. I do have a rescue. I've been rescuing yes. dogs since I was a little girl. But I started my nonprofit uh, ten years ago. Wow. And I'm, we're here now in Vegas. Okay. And yeah, we need uh, we need blankets bowls but mostly donations like just give up a starbucks or something and yeah. and give us five dollars because that five dollars helps because mm-hmm. i take these dogs sometimes they're uh, owner surrenders sometimes they're found on the street or they're from the shelter and they have medical issues and they you know mm-hmm. in order for me to get them adopted i have to fix them mm-hmm. yeah or at least make them adoptable and then be this, as transparent as possible so what about volunteers um, do you ever do you just yes a lot actually, of volunteers yeah we're yes. going to start something next month because when the weather is now it's finally getting a little better we're going to take them hiking because <gasps> they're stuck in the building. Okay, we're starting a keeping in casual hiking. Right? My Tay's Rescue event. Yes. Let's do it. this. It's we're here. It's already sold out. It's already okay, sold out. <laughs> we say that when we were like make things happen. It's already sold out. It's already sold out. out. Yes. Because the weather is beautiful. You need exercise. These dogs need exercise. Yeah. So yes. volunteers and and maybe you donate while you come and do this meetup. Yeah, yeah. And we already, have adoption. It's already sold out. We're already we charging. Adoption. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we have adoption parties every two weeks. So oh my gosh, you know, we so always need help and you know yes. walking them, making sure that you know that dog gets attention. I you know and then they come to me and you know I'm always there and mm-hmm. help them find adoption. We do have some festivals coming up. Prides coming up. Yes, we have um, another one that we're going to be at tomorrow. We have one, but yeah, I mean we always need help. So what? So how can they find you if they want to donate? They want to volunteer? Anything? Hold on. Oh a my goodness, bro! Calm down with that car. It's good. Oh, that's a girl. Oh, that's a motorcycle. Oh, he's happy. A motorcycle. Look at that. Holy moly! It's not a good song. It's not the best song to be. I know. If you're gonna like, come on. If you get a motorcycle with big booming speakers, play something <laughs> good. He's like, what? That's you need something that's better than that. You're um, scaring <laughs> Zuli. Got lost. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, um, where can they find you if they want to? MyTaysRescue.com. Okay. Yeah, or MyTay.com because I have it linked to everything. So. Yeah. yeah. And then you have yeah. MyTaysRescue on Instagram as well. I have Instagram. Okay. Yep. I have Twitter. I have it all. What's your favorite to use? Like, yeah, not I'm, like what you, you know have what? to. You, like I'm, you know what? You know, it's, this is why. Because Facebook, I love Facebook, but, man, it gets depressing. It, it does. It does. It does. I can't. <laughs> so much we're like we love instagram you're already saving dogs on instagram they found fu- they found you on instagram yeah, too yes. they've gotten to I you i can't i'm like i go and i'm like i get depressed and i'm like i can't do this it's just like everybody on facebook is fighting each other and on instagram it feels like everybody's no. supporting each everybody other everybody on instagram right? is crying everybody on facebook is just crying yeah and like uh, and that's instagram, why instagram we're like you're such a babe you work it girl i know you, you go to facebook to uh cheer people up and you go to Instagram to cheer people on. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's true. Oh, Watch. my goodness. So, yeah, I prefer Instagram. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I totally prefer Instagram. Plus, I feel like on Instagram, you can get your message out easier with, like, yeah. hashtags and everything. And, like, Facebook, like, unless you're a like page, you oh. can only have 5,000 friends. Yeah. And I say only 5,000 friends. But I like, mean, hello. But I like, need more. But that's, like, a cap. <laughs> like, like, on Instagram, you can have so yeah. many followers and get your message out. It's there. true. Also, so besides my Tay's rescue, so you've evolved this into a business in Vegas. Can you yes. t- tell us about it? Tell yes. Us. Well, here's the thing: is I've been doing rescuing, and then I see the dogs leave, and and I see all my friends like benefiting on the grooming and the dog food, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, you know what? I want to start a business where you, it's a one-stop shop. Yeah. You go in, you can adopt the dog, and keep bringing them back because we know them. Yeah. Uh, we do grooming. We have play dates. I call it play dates. Yeah. And sleepovers. Oh, oh. So, and our place is, uh, me and my partner, Veronica Styles, we created this place where we would leave our pets and we're st- like mm-hmm. neurotic with our dogs. Okay. So believe me, it's got aromatherapy. It's got soothing music. Oh, all the pods oh, are like I adorable. My tea's going to do a dance yeah. for them. She's oh, like, I, I mean, listen, I, she, don't think I wouldn't be like, what do you need? <laughs> she sings to them. I feel like I need to take my husky over there for play dates because she gets so excited oh, yeah. around other dogs and it's like, especially little dogs because she 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 grew up with my my pomeranian so she thinks she's a small dog but yeah. she's a big husky and mm-hmm. i'm like calm down honey yeah. like you're too big for them and she's like no i'm a tiny dog too yeah, have a disco she's ball. littler <gasps> just so you know oh my gosh okay this is amazing and that makes that makes sense the name. please tell everybody the name of boogie yes. time boogie time boogie time, boogie time. they also do okay i was calling them doggy shoots. photo shoots it's doggy photo shoots yes and you can be in the, the photo shoot with your dog or it could just be your dog yes if you 
go to my Instagram and you see all those amazing <laughs> pictures from this guy. His name is Fabian, but I call him Frenchy. We made a deal where he's going to come once a month and do amazing photo shoots for your pet. And this guy's from Paris, and he's like high-end. Oh, my gosh. Amazing photographer. I love this. So I'm just saying. This is the new thing you put in your dating profile. You're like, I did a photo shoot yes. with my dog. I know. Is it dogs only? Is no, dogs humans no. too. You, well, I mean. And they have a makeup <laughs> artist on I staff. I have a makeup for the artist. He's but I mean, my makeup artist. He'll oh. do it too. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. He's doing, okay. I mean, because, well, you know, you got to look We do need new dog. episode photos. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring my dogs in and it'll be fine. We'll bring my old cat. He's 100. Oh, <laughs> poor Gia. Are the, are the, is it for dogs and cats or just? Dogs dogs. And cats. Yes. Oh, dogs and cats. Yeah. Dude, who else is going to love your cat but you? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> cats are not as easy as dogs. No, but dogs are like great. cats and dogs. I mean, depends. I mean, I, I like cats. I'm allergic to them, though. It makes uh, me sad. Like Paige, you just met last week. She's a monster cat. She's a cat girl. Really? She's all cats, but she was she will die live and die for those cats Hillary she's too she's a cat woman Hillary yes I know. Uh, shout out yes. to Hillary I know. shout Hillary. out Hillary we love you we miss you <laughs> <laughs> thank you for sending Maite our way yes. and introducing <laughs> us but okay so we got Maite's Rescue Boogie Time LV on Instagram yes right yes. okay so you guys need to go there and what's the cross streets because we have a lot of Vegas listeners Pecos and East Patrick Oh. oh, that's like right, right down up the, the street, street from my house. Yeah, so. We're right there. I look at Sonic every day. Listen, my daughter's like, okay. can we go to Sonic? Yeah, I'm off of, like, my house is Russell and the 95, so okay. my dogs need to come have a play date. Yeah. Not and Bowie. Bowie doesn't, like, maybe Bowie does need to come because he does not really like other dogs. He thinks he's a person. He doesn't think he's a dog. Mm. We'll leave him with us. He'll be like, <laughs> Mom, I love it here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want him to leave me, though. Well, <laughs> since you both are working at the same corners of town of another one of my favorite dance studios, Millennium that has oh. incredible uh, oh that's all the, no she's in southeast uh, millennium's in southwest oh she lives by you yes uh, yeah her, her oh, studio yeah. yeah. I was just trying to get us all to a heels class that's all I was trying <laughs> okay, to make nice, oh, nice. I would love but, to go to a heels class but here's why because um, can you please school everybody now besides doing your philanthropy and your your new business at Boogie 10 LV this is the world's youngest belly dancer you guys and now she's here living in Las Vegas yeah. doing classes as she actually travels all over doing workshops too and let, I'm, I'm gonna just say something you know we all are excited because you were with Prince you knew and loved him we've all loved Prince but like you're one of the badass choreographers and dancers in the fucking world because you <laughs> choreographed the Britney Spears slave video hello <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> that's amazing yeah, you you. And you, you please tell us more about that please. you started in ballerina yes as a when yeah. you were five three three oh, that that's makes, what it was that makes they the had to lie answers. and say you were five that's what it was five. Yes. that's what it was mm -hmm. i was like yes. i know i know i read something in the book but um, yeah so you had to lie and say you were five and then and then i mean your belly mom dancing was a belly too. dancer yeah, she, she took belly dancing at the ymca because she wanted something that wasn't intimidating and also you know body mm -hmm. conscious and belly dancing you can be any size any age yes. yep does not matter yeah does not you know so she was doing that and i remember i just i don't know why but it just drew me and of course lip gloss Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything I would do anything for lip gloss, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I was like, I get to wear glitter and those beautiful costumes and lip gloss. I'm in. <laughs> and you just saw all the sparkles and the jingles. You're like, oh, they make noise oh, when I they move. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it, and I just, I just kept going, and I realized that I really enjoyed it. And then my mom was like, if you're gonna learn dance, you gotta learn all aspects of dance. Oh, that's true. Discipline, so I, did. I did jazz. I did modern. I did tap. I did flamenco. Mm. I did it all. So does being that, you know, sometimes you might specialize in belly dancing. Is that your core? Is that what you love to dance? Is that your favorite? Yes. I, I think my, yeah, my favorite is belly dancing because there's no rules. Mm -hmm. I'll use the training that I did from other stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's it's how it's what you feel yeah. it's a feeling and oh. and it it's empowering i mean it's growing so up is. as I, a kid i was you know back in the day puerto ricans weren't you know it's like what are you white or black or you know mm -hmm. military and all this and i remember i always felt kind of awkward but when it came to dance i just it just made me feel like i love myself i guess in a way it's yeah. so embarrassing you know? there's there's something that i saw it says uh dance is just music made visual yes that's very true I love it that. is yeah it's it very is. true and, and it's really powerful when you can yeah. feel that and go for that. my acting coach will take dancers because my acting coach is very like particular he says i don't care if you're a dancer i don't care if you're a singer i don't you are always an actor and that's so true. he'll take dancers and he'll be like you're doing all these dance moves but you're not telling the story so mm -hmm. he'll take dancers and make them actually like act out the scene yeah. of the song 
and nice. teach them how to act to teach them how to tell the story through dance of mm, the song. That's I, I good. I think it's very fabulous, yes. That, I think that would probably, like, you, I can guarantee you're, you're in the car, you hear a new song, and it catches you, you're like, ooh, this is hot. All of a sudden, you're like, five, six, oh, seven, you eight. You've got, you got a dance routine <laughs> in your you head going You should see down. me at the stoplight. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 people would be like, okay, this woman's crazy. She's My old. daughter's like, mom, really? And I'm like, because. Does your hold up? Does your daughter is your daughter at all into dance, or is she just like? Nope. <laughs> I know, right? You're like. Come I was on. hoping. I was like, you know, maybe she'll be inspired. She's like, no. What's no. she into? Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> She's into sharks. A lot of the gymnastics, though. Though I'm see, I'm starting yeah. to see a little bit of her wanting to do flips and I aerials like and stuff. Gymnastics mm-hmm. is like the leading into dance because yeah. I started in That's gymnastics and then yeah. I did ballet, and ballet is very structured. Yeah. Like there is no like if you are in ballet, there is no like if it, you mess up, your instructor will point that yes. out to it's, you very it's quickly. It's like the college of dance. Yeah. It's that <laughs> core foundation. And if you have ballet training, it's like oh, I can't compete with this girl. <laughs> <laughs> I have ballet training, ballet. and any oh, dancer can compete with me, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a very foundation. It's a like, good foundation. It is, and, yeah. And you know that that girl paid attention. Like, it's just, mm-hmm. dance to me was so freedom. Like, I would hear songs on the radio. I'm like, yeah, let's make up a dance routine. I was all over the place. So when you tried to put me in a class and conform me to do your stuff, I was like, I'm going to do my own thing. Like, right. so oh, I'm at also at the stoplights turning up. Interesting. Making up dance routine. Interesting. <laughs> I can't wait to see you at a stop. I'm like, oh, come on, girl, let's go. Because I started, I started, um, I started in music. So, like, I started in piano. My parents put me in piano and opera very, very young. Nice. So, very disciplined shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, nice. very disciplined shit. So, when Whoa. I when I got into uh, an age where I was starting to dance, ballet made sense for me because it was very disciplined. Because it was like that's what I knew through music too. Nice. Yeah. No. I mean, that's, I, I have yeah. to say, discipline is very important yes. nowadays, and I'm noticing a lot of kids don't have it. Mm-hmm. No. So, yeah. should, should I wait? Yeah. With yeah. I know, loud right? Motor. Yeah. In the way. We've never had this many motorcycles through Tivoli Village. It's popping on, this, I don't know what's on a Friday going on. night in Tivoli Village. <laughs> this is yeah, the most so bougie intersection you'll ever find. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, discipline is very important. I, I'm, yeah. I'm glad that I had it, and, and it helped me along the way working with, especially Prince. Yeah. Because there's no joke. Well, no so jokes. please, Speaking of can Prince, you can yeah. you just roll? I know you have your book out. You have your book, out, yeah. Um, yeah. Please tell everybody about your book and like oh. a little bit about like how that little that segue. You gotta buy. You gotta buy the book. You want to know all the juice because she spilled the juice. I'm and, reading yeah. it. Respectfully I, I read most and of it. Intoxicating <laughs> and just yeah, beautiful I, I book. I mean, beautiful it, writing. It was basically my life, but it, it of course included him because mm-hmm. he was a large part of my mm-hmm. life. It's called the most beautiful my life with Prince, and I mean, it starts off me starting being born with crooked legs and the irony of me, yeah. me being a dancer. It's insane. You know, it's so um, inspiring. Yeah. yeah, to meeting Prince at 16 and then keeping a friendship with him until I turned 18 and then working with him and then beca- starting a relationship with him after that. Yeah. You yeah. Know, it was um, it was beautiful and, and funny. Um, there were times that, you know, he stole my makeup. <laughs> I was wondering that. I, like, yeah. Did you share makeup? There is a, no, yeah. he took. He always took. I tell you, I had to buy. When we got married, I think I bought like 10 mascaras. Mm-hmm. And like I counted and within a week they were gone. <laughs> I'm like, what? and then I would finally go in his bag. I'm like, look, there they are. Look at that. See, <laughs> you're always taking my mascara. Like, it was like. You know, <laughs> isn't it crazy how that's so accepted now? But yeah. back then, and he, he didn't give a fuck. It was it accepted was like, with him. It was <laughs> honestly, oh, he was the only exception. Yeah, him and I David know. Bowie. And, I know. And yep. for you to like witness this firsthand, you were like, "This is a man, and yeah. he he can glam up and, and do and all the smell things. amazing." What she she even quoted this in her book. I, I I'm not going to quote it verbatim. On sorry, but um, she she said like. Even next to his bodyguard in f- wearing heels and female perfume and makeup, he was more masculine than yes, his bodyguard. Yeah. That's sexy, and I that's think that's so very hot. powerful, <laughs> especially in this time when people are like, you know, maybe you have a guy out there, and he's like, I love my lady, and I, I'm a proud man to be with her, but I want to... I want to be a little femme, I too. Wanna, I like that style of put on some sexy heels, and you know? Yeah. yeah. Do you, I know. What do you think to... What do you think... What would you say to people that are kind of maybe feeling that way? Like, I'm masculine, but also I feel 
feel this feminine embrace it yes embrace it i mean hello i did it yeah i i'm gonna (laughs) yeah we wore heels yes (laughs) i'm gonna say this we are are a sex and relationship advice podcast i'm the single one i've noticed that men who are a little bit more effeminate are much better in bed than very masculine men yes yeah throwing it down (laughs) throwing it down it's true yes it's true so um um there were some quotes that really just like and it was things that um, Prince had said to you. The first note he wrote to you. Oh. I loved that he like wrote it with the U to the U and oh, the yeah. two and like like just how he does his song titles. But there was something in there that just really like pulled my heartstrings because he said, "You seem so kind and unaffected by this heartless planet." And it just like I'm I'm on a very spiritual journey right now. Mm-hmm. So at that point, I I was I was reading this. I was like. I remember when I was that person, when I was young and just yeah. free and not jaded by the world. And oh my God, having fucking Prince say that to <laughs> you, like how, like for you, it was just like, oh, he's my friend. But like, yeah. how did that feel to have somebody like a little bit older who you kind of admire just say like that you were a beautiful soul who is just so kind and unaffected yeah i mean it's crazy because i mean yeah i'm I'm definitely older now and i've seen things and Mm -hmm. i've lived things but i still kind of live that path good you know i i still see the good in people yes even though my mom and everybody's like you're too forgiving you're too this and i'm like you know what (laughs) i don't know why but there's this it's just the way i've always been at the end of the day if we live with toxicity inside us that's what we're going to exactly exude into the to the universe exactly is, is there something that you brought up like well now you know like is there things that this age that you've accepted like things that i've i realized things too that like i've learned at this age that i've just accepted yeah, you know yeah. i don't have i don't have the fomo of like i have a family at home i don't have to be out i don't have to be doing all the things yeah. it's not all about me yeah. you know like is there things at your age that you've really like embraced to be like you know what this is a this is something i feel more confident now that yeah. i never did before I mean, I just, just things that I believe in, like if I feel strongly about, um, like the business, you know, Mm -hmm. there's there's times where you doubt yourself. I'm like, no, I'm not going to doubt myself at all. I'm, this is what I truly am passionate about and it hasn't gone bad for me. Mm -hmm. You know, the book too, when I remember really feeling really scared about writing the book, but I remember thinking it's coming from my heart. It's coming from love. So either people are going to hate it or they're going to love it, but I have to accept it. Well, and people are people are nasty and they can be trolling. They're like, oh, oh you know, yeah. it's just because this happened at this time. It's like because this happened at this time is the time that I feel like is the time to write yeah. it. Or and, and yeah. that would uh, I would feel the same way honestly if I was there. And then yeah. you have people that are always going to spin it. Oh, it's just this or yeah. that. It's just publicity or what. It's like. No, it's yeah. like, you know what? I have th- this man is gone. I have an incredible story to, to share about him. I, it's part of his legacy, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that needs to be done. So, you yeah, know, thank you for letting us all and into that little insight. She and let us all in. But also you did it in such a beautiful way. Mm-hmm. Like, Respectfully. It was very respectful. And there's no malice. Yeah, it no. didn't. You, you wrote it with no malice or and no. You ego might have as had well. to have you might. I mean things happened and i'm not going to tell you guys okay i'm not going <laughs> to tell you but you you could still hold on to a little malice towards it yeah, but you didn't i well, didn't anything is I a past didn't. relationship there's always something there's always things you know otherwise. please i'm still bitter about mine you know, <laughs> yeah. you know eventually you'll, yeah. you'll yeah you know in time i mean you just you grow from it and you realize okay that was for this and this was for this yeah mm-hmm. and in my relationship with him you know it's made me who i am and and with his passing it even it even grew my love and appreciation for him and respect oh, for him so i'm so sorry you had yeah. to go through that that even just you know even if we didn't know him just to go through something it like sucks. that is incredible yeah. like it sucks that was just the that was horrible and shocking and there was another amazing quote that really pulled at my heartstrings and it was after you were talking about the sequel to purple rain okay and you oh, were on the phone bridge. with him, <laughs> and you were like, "Maybe ask- did not know there was a sequel to Purple Rain." <laughs> yes, there is, guys. <laughs> um, and you were talking to him about it, and he said, "You can't look at yourself through other people's eyes." Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you're working on a certain oh, level, great. you find that people live through you, and if you don't act like they expect you to, you're the bad one. Now, I understand that, like he is who he w- he was who he was. Yeah. And I get that, but I feel like. That's a good quote for anybody. You cannot Absolutely. live your life through other people's eyes. No. no. So and that like really like when I read it, cause I'm like this huge perfectionist and I'm like, once I get to this, then this will happen. And this person's going to like me more and these things are going to happen so much better. And then I read that and it just made me stop dead in my tracks and go, no, 
I need to accept me first. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how it's going to make me move forward. Yeah. So, yeah, your book has really helped Thank me you. in my sp- spiritual journey. Thank you. <laughs> well, you guys is like your, your podcast. You guys yeah. said that you guys just talk and your people are, are responding to it. Yeah. Yes. Because it's coming from It's coming who from you guys truth. Are. It's yes. coming from Thank truth. Thank you. And that's why when we, we told Maite, we said, we want to invite you on here, but we're not going to make it all about Prince because everybody, I can imagine a lot of when people find out that's a lot of where conversation yeah. goes, you know. But Especially when the alcohol kicks in. Yeah. <laughs> And they're like, so tell me. And I'm yeah. like, okay. Okay. And, and a quick a quick little throw to uh, Hollywood. Uh, was it Hollywood X's Hollywood on X's. VH1? Like, uh, first of all, Nicole Murphy does not need to be wearing Prince's shirt. Okay. <laughs> take it off right now. I was like, you take that off right now. I'm not having this. Um, but anyways, you know, it's just like when you see people that are in the same situation as you, you're like, I was like, bitch, please. Like, come yeah. on. Can we show some respect for her? One of my know. favorite scenes from Hollywood a X's. Of, a lot of related. They were like telling you to get rid of the child. And you were like, no, I know. <laughs> you were like, no, I'm not getting rid of it. No. <laughs> so we <laughs> raised a lot of money for that for the, for yeah. the foundation. So no, I'm not yes. getting rid of it. Exactly. I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. How was how was doing like reality TV? Is that something you would try and do again? You know what? Yeah. I'm actually yeah? I actually want to do something on uh on, I'm working on something here for Vegas okay. locally Ooh. for the Ooh. near future. Um, cons- can't, can't talk about it much. I can't I'm talk assuming. about it right now. <gasps> follow, follow on the Instagrams and all the but channels I'm trying to, to document find out. it because I want people to see not just the rescue because it's crazy. Mm-hmm. The rescue life is crazy. My house is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I still live with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, you know. And every day she's like, she comes in crying. I'm like, why are you crying? She goes, because I can't remember where I did with this. And I'm like, mom, I can't remember my name sometimes. <laughs> so you need to get that out of your head. Do you know who I am? She's like, yes. I'm like, that's all that matters. Oh, I love that. So mom with I mean, you. it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's family. That's another thing I've learned yeah. that's getting older is like my family. It used to be my friends. Oh, yeah. I was all about my friends and, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. whatever. Now it's like family is priority, yeah, you know, and, and friends that are family, like yeah. my girlfriend. Yeah. Like I have friends yeah. that are like family sure. that I can scream at. And yeah. Like they were my sister. It's not about yeah. pleasing all the acquaintances or worrying no, about what gosh, anybody else no. thinks. No. Your inner circle is very important. Yes. Exactly. But I love that quote because it's true. Yeah, it it's is. True. It's, it's, it, it, was, it was beautiful. And I, I really feel like books give you what you need yeah i i you always mm-hmm. get something you need out of a book and that was something i needed yeah and for those of you who don't like reading there's an audiobook <laughs> there you go then did you did you voice the audio i did i, I did. love that and yes. i'm top 100 i'm gonna read the audiobook i saw that on yeah. your instagram <laughs> i'm earlier. so proud of that are you really yeah it was weird because uh. i'd never done an audible but i was like all right i'm gonna do this and the funny like funny story he would I would get there at eight because I'd drop off my daughter at school and I'd get there and then he'd be like okay what do you want for lunch I'm like dude I just got here don't worry about it he mm-hmm. goes no no I'm ordering it trust me by 10 45 and I'm like no you're so silly whatever <laughs> and by 10 30 the stomach's going oh you're just like <laughs> in that booth recording I know that live girl and he was like what did <laughs> I say and I'm like oh my god you're right <laughs> yeah but I mean, I I did the audible. I did, and it was interesting because I don't know if you've gotten to eight. Well, you haven't heard the audiobook, but chapter eight, nine was really really hard to read. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I remember finishing yeah. it and saying to him, "I think I can do it again and not break down." And he was like, "No, so oh, I the, wouldn't let you either." I'd be like, "Keep the I'd radio voiceover acting, the, all that stuff." You want the real yeah. mess up. People so are gonna there. people yeah. are gonna pull you in. I can't wait to because honestly, Bree, when it comes to books, she's been she grew up reading books. Me, love it. I need an audio book that's me and that's a lot of audience <laughs> it's funny because we'll like we'll talk about movies and i'll be like well in the book and she'll be like oh my god i'm like shut up a, I'm like, they wrote a book about that i'm like god you read all the books why would you read a book they have the movie no. <laughs> i love but reading it, reading struggle of brain chemistry i think See, to me is, reading takes me to worlds i've never been to i love that yes but i think if people love to listen to podcasts they can yes. listen to the book yeah. and that's incredible yeah. and it's so audible okay you know where to find you know where to find it are oh, you wow. are you into like reading books or yeah. like podcasts yeah. or podcasts what's your I thing? started to I started you, to do podcasts. What are you listening to? I just you know what? Is I there mean, anyone that like stands no, out? Keeping yet? it casual? Mm. Yes. <laughs> I will now be keeping it casual. I <laughs> you guys. I love it. Your Vegas girls are here for I you. Know, I love it. Um, <laughs> so wait, what, what are some of your favorite books you've read in the past? I used to read a lot of memoirs. Uh, I, I love I, it. Even before I wrote mine I mean I I, Elizabeth Taylor, of course. Oh, oh that was that was. I'm a, so I'm a good. I'm mm-hmm. a rock and roll memoir girl. Yeah. Like I told you, Pamela DeBar is my my writing mentor. So yeah, her book, I'm with the band. It like I read that very like as an early teenager, and it was like 
oh my god this is what I'm gonna do yeah. I'm gonna be a groupie now <laughs> <laughs> and I did <laughs> but we don't get into that <laughs> but yeah That's it was good. just kind of like one of those things and then I read like Motley Crue's The Dirt and I like oh, yeah. had like a sexual awakening the and dirt. I was just like oh, oh my god Tommy Lee just oh yeah I know totally. okay okay and he, he cut out to go actually, for the dirt yeah I mean it was funny because I remember when he was th- Tommy when he was um what do you call it interviewing uh people to write his book mm-hmm. and I remember he's like I'm gonna live with you dude and I was like wow and we had just broken up so I'm like yeah. good for you good good riddance got oh. fun because I'm uh-uh <laughs> <laughs> but no I mean, we we had a good breakup it wasn't a bad yeah. breakup yeah he seems like still, a wild ride you know what it, but really smart really really I, and has that feminine side yes uh-huh. we'll put that eyeliner uh-huh. on I found it very interesting <laughs> and maybe I just make weird comparisons but I found it very interesting that you ended up dating Tommy Lee after yeah. you and Prince broke up and Vanity ended up dating Nikki Six after he she Isn't and that Prince crazy? broke Aww. I found that very interesting but in Nikki Six his book he does not talk very fondly of vanity yeah Ooh. he said that she would like send herself flowers and say they were from prince even though they really weren't oh, mm-hmm. just to like mess with his head now oh, who well. knows if that's true but i know yeah no i don't everybody's I, everybody's open to ter- interpretation when it comes to their yeah. own writing so yeah no but tommy was good tommy yeah. was there's a side of tommy that i mean of I course hear he has I a very a, sweet side very sweet he would know the name of this tree he would know know all the plants trees interesting he would go outside i'm like where are you and he'd like get picked flowers oh like you oh. know and just talk about food like oh my god we're gonna make this and like really do you just you like you to cook think and that. stuff oh loved cook love cooking that's crazy oh yeah and would get really excited about okay, it okay what was a meal that Tommy Lee made for you that you just were like can you please make this oh, every he'd single Greek. Like, he'd me like Greek salads oh. you know and then he, loved would, he would make like <laughs> orzo I didn't I never knew about orzo oh like mm. the because um, his mother yeah. was Greek, yeah the right? agolemono yeah. soup I learned how to make that from oh. his mom Oh, I it's love so that. Good. It's so good. That is so yeah. crazy. Well, I remember reading. I don't remember if it was in the dirt or if it was in his book, but he 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 wrote about how like when his parents met, they couldn't yeah. even talk to each other. Yeah. Mm. So they would like draw. She was Greek. Yeah. yeah. She was Greek, and he was uh, he was over there in, in the military. In the military. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So and and I have to read more, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I know there's so much. It, it's so. Much, I mean, Books I know. take you to the world they you've do. never been to. They do. Okay, so I we we do this uh, game called the Getting to Know You game okay what's up it's mj and Bri. we're from the keeping a casual podcast and the iadc crew justine and Brittany and scott <laughs> <laughs> from it's about damn crime yeah hey hi hello this is ashley hoover baker from the on this day entertainment podcast you guys we are having a live podcast event the alternative babe show Woo! it's saturday guys october 26th at 8 p.m at fitness studio wear your goddamn costumes <laughs> <laughs> we have all kinds of fun things in addition to costume contests we're gonna have giveaways trivia everything that your halloween loving self is craving pole dancing comedy all the drinks y'all sexy babes it is a live podcast event with three vastly different podcasts tell them how much it is five dollars five dollars make you holla <laughs> <Five dollars. laughs> Makes me if you can't come for five dollars, I mean, come even on, the broke bitches can come for five dollars. Right. Yes. Can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> I'll come All for right. free, <laughs> guys. Guess what? Don't forget to pick up your tickets at keepingitcasualpodcast.com under the Keeping It Casual Live Show. That's right. It's only tab. five dollars. Come on, and if you rate and review us on Apple Podcasts, you get into our monthly Keeping It Casual swag giveaway, giving away the last Wednesday of every month. Right on. Look forward to seeing you. We like a little insight from everybody, every okay. different kind of perspective. I love it. So, because to all... the root, we still are a sex and relationship yeah. podcast. Yes, I okay. love it. All right, she's ready. <laughs> Let's play. I see the excited face. You want to ask the first question? <laughs> sure. So, this is one we like to ask a lot: is what is a non-sexual thing somebody can do to catch your attention or turn you on? Non-sexual. Non-sexual. Uh, hmm. Could be a scenario or just something in general. Yeah. So she likes it when her husband does the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of love language nice. but yeah. but you I like what? it when he's kind to people. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah. It's Ki- genuine kindness. kindness. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you're right. Um god, there's so many. I like mm. when a guy will hold my door for me and when he notices like like when I'm having a bad day and he'll like the guy I've been seeing on and off all year, he'll like just text me out of the blue or say something to me out of the blue that like he just knows I've been having like a really hard time and he'll just yeah. be like, "Here, let me tell you something really funny." Yeah. And I'm like, "Oh, 
know. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. yeah I, I would have to say attentiveness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, somebody attentiveness. Really, That's a good way of putting it. Like if you say something and then later on they, you know, they remembered or they ask you about it. You're like, oh, wait. Oh, wow. You yeah. were listening. You were paying attention. You were paying yeah. attention. You just say something like off guard, like, oh, I love hot Cheetos. And then they bring you a bag of them. Yes. 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 I had a situation where. I call it Shark Week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I understand. <laughs> yes. Shark Week. Shark Week. Okay. And I'm, I'm with you. Yes. <laughs> and I remember they, the person asked, like, do you, is it, do, what do you, what is it that you like? And I'm like, Kit Kats. And I, during Shark Week, there was ice cream with Kit Kats inside of it <gasps> oh, delivered what? to me. What? That yeah. is fabulous. That's yes. what I'm talking about. Somebody that acknowledges, like, yes. who you are in your little, the little And remembered things. that. Yeah. Remember the little things. Yeah, so, gentlemen, if things. you're out there struggling with some chick that you're trying to, like, get her attention, like, acknowledge who it's she is and quit commenting on her tits and ass because exactly. she knows. And it, it doesn't have to be flowers. It doesn't have no. to be romance. It could just be, like, like, a Kit Kat or a bag of Hot Cheetos. Yeah. Honestly. We all have different love languages. Well, and sometimes yeah. people get overwhelmed with, like, maybe I'm not feeling sexy right yeah. now or maybe I don't have the money to do something for somebody. But if you're with somebody you love and care about or even yeah. you're interested in, acknowledge them. Yeah, yeah acknowledge no, 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 something. Me, yeah, sir. something that they yeah. like. You know, like if somebody just said... You know, and just was listening to you. I like, like Taco wow, Bell and really horror movies, so I mean, See, like that, that could just make me so happy. Like we don't have to go and on a wet. fancy date. Oh, yeah. sure. I love it. <laughs> Did you bring me taquitos? And <laughs> and is that a D is that a VHS? A VHS? We're watching a scary <laughs> movie. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead for the next. Okay. One. It's your first time sleeping over with a guy. Oh my god. What's your biggest fear? <gasps> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Oh See? <laughs> it's also so like that. I think I would wake up early and, like, go brush my teeth. But then also you're like, good morning. What's worth good morning breath or, like, extreme peppermint breath? <laughs> like, I don't know. know right? <laughs> Gosh, I would Makeup have to smeared all over your face. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, for, it, for yeah. me to spend a night with someone, they have to know me already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me, it would just be... Um, Oh my God! <laughs> wow, I haven't thought about that. <laughs> oh my God! We've heard all the answers. This is a question we love to answer. It is. I I I have a different answer every I know. first night I mean, sleepover fear I have. You know what? If, if they like were, if it was like too, way too like set, like I have a toothbrush for you, I have this for you. Yeah. Like, oh. Okay. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna go. You, know, you were planning me on coming, or you do this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's I mean? true. Uh, right? Yeah. Like an extra toothbrush. Oh my like gosh! For me, I, I do never thought. I also be like that. I like, oh. I like having his toothbrushes. But, like, if he no. had it, I'd be like, okay, it's a problem. Yeah, like, guys, it's don't How many girls are you having here? Exactly. <gasps> I would have like never thought have about see? that. He's see? like, I've got some eye... Well, how about this? i got some eye makeup remover in the cabinet, honey, oh, if you need it. You're like, I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, uh-uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're too accommodating. <laughs> Even my husband's not that accommodating. He's known me for, like, over 10 years. Yeah. Good so, call. Yeah, he That's has, a good call. I've exactly. never heard that one before. Ladies, red flag. Yeah, red flag <laughs> alert. The man has, uh, he's like, do you need extra panties? Can you oh. like, oh, no. I've got them in every size. I love that. <laughs> Have you had an extra toothbrush situation you really immediately felt like, <sighs> No, I mean, no. No? No, okay, I mean, okay. Prince, but Prince but had, like, he already had des guests in his house. And yeah. It was, you know, Different. that kind of situation. Yeah. Okay. But if it was, like, somebody's house and he doesn't have guests and there's extra, <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's a funny one. We get a lot of different ideals, but in a committed relationship, what would be the ideal amount of sex you should be having a week? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, oh, man. <laughs> I would have to say at least three to five. Yes. Sorry. Ooh, hey, girl. Yes. Belly dancer, you guys. Belly and dancer and a Scorpio. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, so my Venus is in Scorpio, <laughs> yes, no. so I've got the I've got the Scorpio love side. Yeah. yeah. And my sun and moon are in Libra, so I'm all yeah. about all that. When, when's your birthday? What's the date? Because we're going to flood your Instagram <laughs> with birthday love and moons, Aww. and hopefully we'll get November any, like, 12th. unsolicited. <gasps> My okay, uncle, November who is 12th. one of my favorite people in the world, is a is in November twelfth. Nice. You guys, all the and keepers. My daughters, <gasps> November twelfth. Wow. Really? Yeah. Same birthday. Same birthday. What's so it like having two Scorpio women <laughs> in the she, same household? She's moody in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Both of us can't be moody. Come on. <laughs> I got one of those too. So <laughs> okay. what do you? What's your like? What's that double up birthday? 
you have a oh, tradition yeah. or something? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, for her, for it's you know, I'm like her first, mm-hmm. and then you know, I'll do me later. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. How cute is that? Okay. Mommy daughter dinner date or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, I yeah. love it. Hell yeah. Okay, Ooh. so our friend Gina, fabulous Hilarious. writer, whatever. <laughs> her episode <laughs> was called Erotic City. <laughs> nice. It was one when we first got started, and nice. it was one of the dirtiest episodes we put out. We talked about stripping and dancing and being in phone Vegas sex and operations phone sex and all oh the fun goodness. sex stuff. It's a fun yes. one. Yes, nice. um, it was the only proper title. So we she could wants use. to know: <laughs> Do you have a moment where you were just like? God, why did I date him? What is your why did I date him moment with with someone with anybody? It does you don't even have to say don't you don't have to say names. We don't need to know da- names. Just like, oh, some, yeah. like even if it was a short one. You're oh just yeah, like, what? scenario like why did I date him? Because he did this. That's a yeah. deep one. Yeah, yeah I, I dated this one guy and. Mm-mm. Mm. <laughs> what was the one thing that made you just like it when could, you were sitting there? You it, were like, oh my god, it could be the most petty thing ever too. But you were like, I can't. You have the toothbrush ready for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> How do I say this? I feel so bad. Just say it. Just say it. It wasn't working. His, oh, <laughs> his schmeckle didn't work. <laughs> yeah. How do you working. go from like Tommy Lee and Friends to somebody who's yeah. dicked in? And all he wanted to do was kiss. Oh. oh. Yeah. I've seen a micro penis and that absolutely was oh. not working. Oh, no. He was working well and then he surprised me later and I was like, well, we're not going to be able to do this functionally. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was lazy sex. Like we had dated and then we hooked up years later like you know you can fall back into things with exes yeah. really comfortably and it was just like the late like he just kind of laid back like okay i'm ready and i was like uh, <laughs> uh-uh, buddy <laughs> like it's not all about you we gotta do equal work here gentlemen yeah. it's never all about you <laughs> no you need to make her feel like that first before you can get that yeah yes. that's all trick yeah. them at least i'll never forget actually no let me take that back this <laughs> guy <laughs> he, he was this like he, he was an athlete and i went to meet him in coffee bean and he's like just so you know it's a deal breaker if you go into, don't go down on me if you don't do head and i was like wait he's, hold up wait what what <laughs> he like said that he on said that to date? me on the first date coffee <gasps> oh my like the first God. meet obviously the first it's coffee meet? yes coffee we're sitting at coffee bean and i'm like wait what that's it what's his say? instagram we have to flag him <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> ladies I, don't I, date this guy yeah. <laughs> i was like wow i was like okay well and i'm so glad it was just coffee and i'm gonna go is that what you said <laughs> to him you I were like, like i mean th- you sh- you're gonna learn the lesson of me getting up right now if you yeah, said that yeah good for you I was like, i'm good thank you what a dick that thumbs up thumb down you know what thumb and he, he had a really we're gonna blame it on the girl before him very traumatic <laughs> she was de- wow. teasing him for months and oh, didn't blow him God. and he's yeah. like I'm not gonna date anybody it doesn't blow Maybe me you're like, something with athletes and I'm you like, just lost my take you I went idiot. out yeah right <laughs> I went out with a um, a sports agent once we went out for sushi and he um, he sat next to me and kept like trying to put my hand on his you what know. and it was our first date That's no. and then I went excuse me and he was like do you think this meal is gonna pay for itself he said that to me yes and i got up and i like i had cash on me which was rare because i never carry cash and i like put it down and i was like okay i think i'm gonna go now and I felt so traumatized. I went and cried in my car, but I was very tough in that yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, good. But then I got Tougher. in the car, and I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe that just happened to me. Well, yeah, no, that's yeah. that's bad. Yeah. How dare thou? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is kind of a deep one, all right? Yes. So uh, your best friend, we've both been in situations like this. Yes. And we've had to give somebody advice. But your best friend confides in you, a friend confides in you, that she is cheating on her significant other with somebody else. <sighs> She's in love with them both and doesn't know what to do. What would you tell her? Wait, okay, so was she married to the first one, or is it just She's dating? She's married. She's married. Oh, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. The situation I heard about, they were married, and I was like, uh, I mean. Uh, I think say, mine was married, too, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I had the situation where a girlfriend was actually married, and she was seeing somebody else, but she wasn't in love. It was just kind of like this like cycle Thing. of mm. stuff she wasn't getting. And I kept saying, you need to divorce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You need to end it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not fair yeah. to to the guy if he's being loyal. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. It's not fair to your significant other. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in, on any sex, you know, I, I think if modality, I feel really strongly about that. Mm-hmm. Same. Yeah. Same. Don't, be, don't get committed. Don't commit if don't you don't want to do that. Time. And if fair. you feel different, then you know what? Talk about it and yeah. say, listen, I'm feeling... Like, I want to be, you know, oh, and talk about it. Thank you. Okay, so with my ex-boyfriend, when we kind of made it official, I told him two things. Do not lie to me. Do not cheat on me. Yeah. I said, if you feel like you need to cheat on me, 
let's have a conversation because there's a disconnect in our our relationship. Yes. People, it's that simple. It is. And it yes, sucks, yeah. you're but gonna it's so you're much gonna better. hurt somebody's feelings, but it's gonna hurt less than hearing I've been having an affair for seven months. Horrible. Yeah. Hearing it's ugly. there's somebody I'm a little interested in and I don't know how I feel about you is going to be so much easier than I've strung you along and I've been having an affair for seven months. Exactly. It's a don't waste anyway. That's and so just disrespectful. In today's day and age, like so you know, are you protecting yourself and then yes. making that risk of a, you know <gasps> infecting somebody? I mm, yeah, I'm not oh, cool well, with that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool with that. I'd rather you tell me. Yeah. Hey, listen. Yeah. You're not just hurting my feelings. You're hurting my health. Exactly. You're hurting it's my scary. body. Yeah. And you know what? It, yeah, it was just like, there. I, I'm in love with two people. I don't know what to do. And I was just like, well, you need to start weighing the pros and cons, I guess, because yeah. I can't decide. I've got this here and this there. I was like, ooh. I, it's, yeah, ugly. I don't know. I've never been in a situation where I was in love with two people. Have you ever? Yeah, no. I don't play that no. game, though. No. I mean, I guess if you do, it's no. possible. I, I, the only thing with dogs, but I told my first dog, <laughs> yeah, I was like, look, I am not, I am not <laughs> monogamous. Nobody. When it comes ever. to dogs. See, but yeah. dogs are yeah. like a little I'm, like children, I'm loyal, but so. I get around. <laughs> I will cheat on you. I will kiss another dog. Kiss them all. <laughs> She's like, look Do at you? Her. Okay. She's so Munchkin. Oh. <laughs> so what is the worst relationship advice you've ever received? Oh, man. Mm. Be careful. Don't. Oh, don't. don't. Don't be vulnerable in love type yeah. thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like, just don't, you know, just don't do it. And mm. it's like, wait, for me to get in a relationship, I have to really, really, like, we mm-hmm. have to really talk about it. And has, I'm old school. Like, mm-hmm. you got to ask me out as a mm-hmm. girlfriend. And yes. Oh, yeah. That. You know, and I think people kind of jump into it too fast. Uh, so I remember somebody telling me, you know, really, it's, you know, relationships suck. And I'm like, ah, I don't know about that. It, you know, because I think they're not, don't have to be forever. Sometimes they're for a certain amount of time and it's you learn true. something, Yeah. you know, and then it helps you get into another one. Mm-hmm. I, I try to look at that, at least my way of thinking. I try mm-hmm. to look at my past relationship as something to make me grow, hold on to whatever I learned from it. You know, it's crazy. It's like, I, I, I've noticed like looking back at all my relationships, like, yeah, I'm a little bitter about my most recent ex because he did cheat on me. Fuck that guy. I know. It was better <laughs> than any of the other relationships I've been in. It's like everything I've learned and I've grown a little from it and they get better and better. Yeah. And it's like with him, it's like, I know I'm so much closer to getting to what I want yeah. now. Like I feel it. But the thing is, and what's the hardest thing is yeah. to not hang on to it and yeah. bring it in. You mm-hmm. got to like throw it out the window. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I appreciate I'm myself. I'm like, give me a second. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I'm good being single right now because it's like I still have a, like a lot of mistrust from what happened. Cause yeah. It just happened this year, so it's oh, like yeah. yeah. So it's like now I know. Like I know that happened. I know who who he was pretending to be versus who he is. Mm-hmm. You know all that stuff. And it's like okay, but now it's time to work on me and you know move on. And here we go. Yeah. And, uh, and appreciate that. No, uh, no relationship. Nothing is a mistake. It's such. No. So you learn it's, so much. You from learn all so of them much from all of it. You like I, that. I learned three hundred red flags not to go after yeah. you know yeah no and i like that you said you're like you know i looked at every them maybe it just wasn't forever but yeah. it just had to be in that moment you yeah. know you've got to build relationships now. to yeah. learn and grow yeah you know, where you're going i've had relationships where it's like i needed that person in my life even though ended up they ended up being bad like i needed that person in my life because i needed some sort of emotional support because of whatever i was going through at mm-hmm. that very moment and it's like not See, trying so to sound yeah you there's a positive in that. yeah there's always a positive in everything yeah you learn something from everybody we sure do <laughs> so we have a couple of fun personalized uh questions for you as okay. well so like okay when it comes to role playing it is getting closer to halloween too i know a lot of couples are getting there like couple swag and you mm-hmm. know maybe you can inspire something that would lead to some sexy bedtime play afterwards so do you have a fun role play scenario Ooh. that you could suggest Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, it's Halloween time. This is the time. If you've ever been ready to break out the role playing. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I mean, it just depends on, you know. Now you're costuming it up. The belly dance. I always, oh! I'm always, and I always teach women. I'm like, you guys, if you're confident with yourself, mm-hmm. they're going to see it. Mm-hmm. So if you walk mm-hmm. around and you start doing a couple little hip figure eights and yes. a little shimmy, I'm telling you, work for me. <sighs> growing up. I, you know, and I didn't even, the thing is, you're not trying. You just do it. Yeah. And if you feel good, then they're going to be like, man, she's hot. Oh, so give them a little sexy you know, belly dance. A little That's belly routine. dance. I'm but, not but, even going to lie. But, but do it for yourself. Yeah. And let him watch. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm not even like, gonna I'm going to let you watch. <laughs> yes. This is That's for what me, you got to do. You can watch. Yeah. Take it in. I'm not even going to lie. Like, when you talk about that in your book, right, uh, belly dancing for him for the first time, you're like, it was so intimate. And I'm like, That's hot. Oh, That's yeah. so hot. Yeah. I mean, oh. it's, it, it, you know, and it's, it's such a powerful thing. It's so powerful. It's such a power yeah. It got me pregnant. Oh, see? I, one, uh, shout out to one of 
my dear friends who listens all the time, Debbie, she is one of the most, uh, Deborah, she's one of the most crazy, cool belly dancers oh, ever. Belly dance and now. Yeah, belly at belly dance now. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I have my tay here. And she's excited about your belly dancing. But I, I sta- we started dancing again because I was doing like weights and going to the gym. It was like, you know, and yeah. I wasn't moving my body. And we got together and started doing belly dancing. Yeah. And I got pregnant because I was just feeling myself like and way then you too were, much. And then you were two <laughs> weeks late with Vivian and out there belly dancing still. I was belly dancing at 41 weeks pregnant. I took her belly dance class and I was trying to shake that baby loose. But <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So I, I love it. I love it. And I yeah. love your classes. And real quick, before you know, like you can take classes from you in Vegas. Mm-hmm. You have workshops. Yeah. I mean, tell us a little bit about how they can find well, workshops I mean, with you. Go to my website. Okay. I post everything on, on mytay.com. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to find a place. And yeah. I love that you mentioned. Pull Fitness. Pull Fitness, Fitness Studio. Fitness. Hello, Fanya. You know. Got you, girl. Yeah. It's already <laughs> you know, sold out. Because it's about people that are like-minded and, and mm-hmm. open to trying something. And, and the thing is, I te- teach all levels. Mm-hmm. Like, I've had people who've never, ever danced. And I have them shimming and doing hip drops. And, you know, we always end with a dance party celebration. And everybody has a good time, <gasps> you know. And to learn from a, a legend, the world's first belly dancer is right here in Las Vegas. And she's teaching classes. And she's traveling, doing workshops. And maybe it's not in your city. You message her and be like, how do we make this happen yeah, in my city yeah, actually, right I just, now? I'm teaching on uh, October 12th in Phoenix because yes. I had everybody on my live feed say, Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. So I was like, you know what? Phoenix. I'm coming to Phoenix. There and it is. I'm, I'm in Phoenix. So if you had, say say you got a girl listening right now. And she's like, oh, my gosh, it's my birthday. I need to have a Maite belly dance workshop yeah how many girls minimum minimum 15 15 there it is that's how it's that's easy to do right? yes that's absolutely easy to get 15 girls grab together. your girls rally them around and she's gonna put it down and then maybe some some classes here and there as well you could oh, drop yeah. into yeah more than in la I'm, I'm doing oh. i'm teaching i teach like every other month in la and i love I'm it like, you know let me do a beginner a whole bunch of people are coming i'm like wow okay and then uh the s3 i call it s3 because it's shimmy sweat and smile yes and in you know it's the one thing when you're shimmying and you're sweating and you're smiling, it's like, you know. There's nothing. I, I love belly. That's one of the classes I've been taking for, you know, for 10 years. On and off. I'm no, no I professional. But <laughs> I know the, take my class. I know oh. the figure eights. I have practiced in my living room the Britney Spears slave routine. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> I was so, I mean, that's too a, cute. Can we please like breeze over that? Because yeah. you, you choreographed the video for yeah. Britney Spears. That was, that was a moment in pop culture. Like girls were like, who is Britney Spears? Yeah. And, um, how can I do these moves? Well, she was it was already, a move. Yeah. She was already kind of, you know, yeah, she, but she, she didn't be, catch my attention until that video. Oh, and she was, had my attention. Or the, yeah. Britney, the little thing she did at the MTV Music Awards oh. before, when she ripped off her outfit, yes. and was in the skin tight one. Yeah, yeah that was sparkles. Good. I was like, and then when she did yours, yeah. your routine. Yeah, I know. It was, just, it was fun because she was like, just dance, and I'll tell you what I like. Mm. Really? And she was like, I like that. I like that. I like That's that. That's not like intimidating that. like, at oh. all. But I mean, I guess you would. Okay. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, I'm <laughs> All right, wow. Brittany. Oh, yeah. my That's gosh. amazing. That yeah, was fun. My take out moves for days. And, and you then can, she used you a lot of that in that her. VMA yes. performance, too, with the snake. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, I was young at the time, but the yeah. sexual awakening shit right, right my, there. Yeah. My dad knows about that dance. Like, that's how b- brilliant Aww. and, like, incredible those moves are. They're just, like, they were a moment in time. Everybody's like, this is the definition of sexy. Yeah, yeah it is. And I want to be that. So, obviously, yeah. you curate playlists for your dance classes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you have a sexy time playlist? You know what? <laughs> yeah, I do. What's it called? <laughs> I call it chill. Chill. I do have a chill. Because don't forget, I have a daughter. So, okay. she's yeah. on my phone all the time so oh. like, chill mine's called slow and sexy and randomly I just like as I was making it I just stopped at one point and it ha- had 69 songs on it and I was like I can never change this I, I will delete a song if I need to have a new song <laughs> <laughs> it just has to be perfect that way do you do you make a lot of playlists like when you hear music or I, you do. Just, I do I do yeah. like I have you know beginner I have advanced I have mm-hmm. just in the car I have the different cars She's I have got the years shake. I got so many it's so out of control <laughs> yeah the playlist that she likes is called chill, chill. Yeah. chill. we have a, a keeping a casual podcast sex list on spotify nice. and we make it collaborative so people can add it yes oh, nice. but they're not really adding so let's go we All need right, to okay. bring the sexy you guys All so right. we definitely want to make sure that we promote boogie time lv yes and my taze rescue and, and we want to drop all of and the socials to come back early next year because 
you got more well, stuff yeah, to talk about. Stuff. Oh, we I'm got here for we it. You. you. We will cancel all okay, plans good. when yeah. you're ready, girl. <laughs> so it's already sold out. So, so Maite promised she's like, okay, we can do a little bit of this. We had a fun little rapid fire game at the end. It's rapid fire with Prince. Oh yes. And yes. we just had a couple of fun little okay. silly scenarios. I'm ready. That we'd love a little inside perspective. Okay. What is something that drove you crazy about him when you guys first moved in together? Like, just a weird little quirk he had. You know when you first start living with somebody and you're it, like, oh, God, am I going to have to live with this for the rest of my life? That he kept stealing my mascara. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 I would get, because he'd get up before me most of the time, and he'd, like, I could hear the music. I'd be like, what mood is he in? Okay, he's he's in, okay, Motown, old old stuff. Okay, okay. he's going to have a serious day today. And then he'd, oh, you know, open up and, like, walk out of the bathroom, and I'd go in and, I'd get ready and I'd like my last finishing touch and like there's no my mas- mascara or <laughs> eyelash extensions base. back in those my days. Base. Yeah. Always say so your foundation. Oh yeah, my foundation. Yeah. We were same skin color. Oh yeah, beautiful <laughs> skin tone. He's still Jealous. yes, still uh, gorgeous of days. I mean, I can't even. I can't take it right yeah, now. So yes, my host, husband stole my mascara. Mm-hmm. Let's see how many people you get to answer. Like yeah, that. I know that's not the one. <laughs> that's not the one. Shoe size was different. Yeah, uh, slightly, slightly. I could put. I could fit his shoes. Boot yeah. Put some boots on. Yeah. I love that. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we all do silly, weird things. We're in a bad mood. Yes. What is something he would do? And also something you would do. Yes. He'd go play guitar and yeah. I'd go dance. Yeah. Oh, you guys have like such healthy outlets. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to go spend a lot of money right now. <laughs> I'm going to go clean the whole house. <laughs> See, cleaning the whole house is still healthier. Like mine is like, I'm going to go shopping. Like I can't handle the world right now. So I'm going to go spend some money and buy something new. Play guitar. Yeah, it, would, it would be, he would go play guitar and then I'd, I'd, I would, I would go, go dance. Aww. Sweat it and get yeah. it out. Did it Tommy out. Lee have anything weird he would do when he was in a bad we mood? We have to throw him in there oh then. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I had to. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Besides, you know, party. Besides know, party. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, mm. yeah. like a normal, like a, it's a regular day. Like it's a regular like, day and he's like, I'm just going to go swim 15 laps. Yeah, he <laughs> stomps around and huffs and you puffs. He, he had a koi pond. Oh. oh, and I could tell if he was down there, he was he was really mad, mm. or he was really sad. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, and he would go there, be like, "Ooh, I'm not going over there right now." <laughs> oh, I'm okay. gonna let him have, let him let him reflect a few do minutes. His thing. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah, that is so cool. That yeah. is really cool. All right, and um, was was go for it. Prince was he messy or a clean freak? <laughs> Let's just say we had a housekeeper every day. Yeah. Oh, every. Okay. So he was messy. Yeah. yeah I but mean, the housekeeper kept it clean. Yeah, because he didn't have time. The thing yeah. is, he would just. His mind was so focused his on whatever. Fo- he was always all on work, and you know, you yeah. couldn't get mad at that because yeah. you. I'd hear the work that was coming. I'm is like, it yeah, time to do dishes? Mad. Yeah. I mean, no, the dishes. Mm-mm. I would do them once in a while, but. Like it was, we weren't like regular like. It wasn't a regular breakfast, relation. lunch, and dinner. Yeah. No. So okay. So any <laughs> any tips to dating a rock star that you you got this girl? She's like, oh my god, I can't even believe my life right now. I've just met this hot rock star because our keepers are really cool babes. They are. They're, yeah. they're all pretty hot. Like. And I I think like, what is a a, a good tip to like say honey be cautious of this a little well, no stay stay true like don't mm-hmm. i see women completely change mm-hmm. and i think that's with every relationship yeah. Yeah, you know is. just stay stay like you were i mean just yeah. because there's a label on you or you're the girlfriend that you have to now be demanding don't just yeah. you know mm-hmm. i mean yeah i mean there has to be respect but just stay. Say, have fun. Keep having fun. Because yeah. the reason you got in a relationship is because it was fun. And because yeah. you were you. Like, yeah. don't try to conform to what the exactly. masses are. Yeah. And even though being with her, it's hard because when you finally become the girlfriend, then I can say this more on the Tommy side because with Prince, it was just it just kind of fell fell in. Yeah. And it was but beginning Tommy, your life, too. Yeah. It was. Yeah. And yeah. But with Tommy, it was like I would just see the girls and I would see it. And I'm like, whoa. This is completely different from from my marriage. Oh, those rock the like, these girls are Prince woo! fans to like Motley Crue yeah. fans. Those those Motley Crue fans probably Savage probably tried to shank you. You probably need security. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, was, it was interesting. Oh my god, yeah, I wouldn't be able to deal with that. Was that tough <laughs> well, to deal with? You, you know, I mean, I just but I would be wanting always, to fight every he night. He's always cool though. Oh, because he, he's like he set those boundaries so you didn't have to did. worry. Yeah. That's respectful. The one yeah. thing I always tell my groupie friends or girls who want to get into like that sort of lifestyle is like, 
if the girlfriend's there, you do not get to act like a fucking asshole. Like, you back the fuck off. Yeah. And I never got into anything with a musician who, well, as far as I know, they didn't have girlfriends. (laughs) But um, be respectful. Like, gotta, you're not going to be the girlfriend if they already have a girlfriend. That's just plain and simple. You're not going to be the muse if they already have a girlfriend. Figure out why they're showing interest in you. Mm -hmm. And, and, I mean, I guess... Yeah, this is me at, at, in my forties saying, just figure out what is it that they like and yeah. highlight it. Yeah, I mean, because I when even for me, it was my belly dancing, it was my determination, it was my uh, your beautiful looks. Your uh, <laughs> also your artistic. Yeah, you know, you I were very artistic. artistic. Yeah, and I I was I was established when I met when I met when him. Met. Yeah, yeah, when I met Prince. <laughs> So I already had, like, my vision of, I'm Cairo, mm-hmm. I'm going to do this, I'm going to have a 40-piece yeah. band behind me. And he was just like, you know. Yeah. And it, I mean, because he, he yeah. well, you had the confidence, but he also had that confidence and the, the visions about how his life was going to yeah. go. Yeah. I so mean, I guess to stay true to yourself and really, you know, yeah. I think you have to love yourself and believe in yourself mm-hmm. before somebody else is going to be like, wow, she's amazing. Mm-hmm. It, it confi- and that's, that's confidence is really. Y- you could be, you know, not the most beautiful babe, but if you have the confidence if about you're yourself. you're confident, I'm telling you. You're, you're the hottest thing under exactly. the Exactly. And fake it till you make it if you're yeah. not there yet. <laughs> exactly. You, know, you, let, you let somebody believe that you're yeah. feeling yourself. But, you know, and a lot of that comes with like being, you know, as you get older, you know, you're so much more like, I believe in this. I don't care if anybody thinks it's stupid. I, mm-hmm. I know I yeah. believe in it and I'm passionate about it. It's going to happen. So yeah. I hope girls younger, and I'm trying to show my daughter that too. Like really just, you know, don't worry about what people think. It's true. I mean, that whole, yeah. that quote that, that he said in the book, just believe in yourself. Find something you love about it and like work so it own it own it work <laughs> it my put gosh. music on in the own morning it. And, you guys. and get dressed and dance in your underwear exactly. in front of the mirror and nobody <laughs> needs to know yeah. like some, there's some days i get dressed my mom's like where are you going i was like i'm not going anywhere i'm just feeling it today she's like okay i know you know yes. just cause like why not a some lot days of you just on. need to put some makeup on and i used to put gowns on Ah, I oh. love it. I'd put on a gown. I'd She's like, like where are you going? Actually, You're like, to Trader Joe's. I actually, you know what's funny? What's I funny can. is I, um, I was talking to a girl online, and she said her and her, her best friend will have, like, one night a month where they put gowns on and watch Real Housewives and drink together. I and I was it. like, that's amazing. Right? But you could put gowns on and go to the strip. Yeah, I know. You can. Any I know. night of the week. I know. I didn't think about that. But, oh. but yeah. I mean, just to make yourself, like, you know, and it's un- it doesn't cost you anything. Just make yourself feel pretty at home. Mm-hmm. You have to have a gown. You have to have something that just, even if it's a <sighs> scarf or, you know, it's a song. I don't know. It is scarf season, ladies. You know? It is. I'm going to put I on know, mine I tomorrow. Wait. I know. I'm ready. I'm a scarf. Yeah. Let's go. Let's, it's scarf time. I'm with you. I, and I've had people say stuff to me like, you're so confident. And I'm like, I haven't always been. I faked it until I gained the confidence within myself. Right. But you're just so much fun. She's one of my favorite people. And so are you. You guys, don't be jealous of us because we're hanging with my tape because you can too. Okay, you can get a belly dance workshop in your city. Oh, you could yeah. come to Vegas and take one of her classes. You could uh, adopt a down. puppy. You yeah. adopt a puppy. You can, you can, I mean, this is a woman that is just... We're just thrilled to like Aww, get yeah, to meet you. 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 you know that you're in our city because I know we're going to be doing things with you. Yeah, we're going to help you with my Tay's rescue. We want to get down to Thank Boogie Town LV. I want pictures. Yeah, with me and my old cat before we have to Aww, put him down. For those. <laughs> Yes. R.P. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, no, we just, we thank you so much for being a part oh, of this with you. us yes. and, and sharing a little insight to who you are with the listeners. And please, please remind everybody where they can find you on social media. You can go to Maite.com mm-hmm. and or Maite'sRescue.com mm-hmm. or BoogieTimeLV.com. But yeah. Maite's.com has everything. So yeah. if you forget, because I forget everything all the time. Yeah. Just Maite.com. And you're on Instagram, Twitter, on, and yep, all this I'm stuff. On all of it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't want to let her go, but we, we have, have to. to. <laughs> she's got a little girl at home. She's got mom at home. Yes. Your mom goes. Wait, my mom. Please tell us. My mom every weekend. <laughs> it's funny because on Thursday, start, I see her start to get her hair. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, I don't know why I'm even asking. <laughs> every Friday, she goes to see Purple Rain. <laughs> <laughs> the, I love the, it. the impersonator. The residency the show. The residency here. show at I'm, the Tropicana. I met him before. He's got the yeah. bald head. Oh yeah. He had the best line ever in that show. He goes. He goes. Y'all having a good time? 
out there and everybody's like, yeah. And he's like, good, stop sweating like a meatloaf in this wig. <laughs> <laughs> I, love that. I don't know. I actually I remember it so well. It was the funniest thing. I heard a rumor that that's like the one <laughs> show that Prince was actually like, okay, I'll let them be an impersonator of me. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was wondering, because he's been doing it for over 20 years. And yeah. I'm like, how is it that he didn't shut you down? Yeah. You know, but I, I went to see it. I had my arms across. I was like, let's see what you got. And uh-huh. I was like. Okay, not bad. He does it with respect, and he does yeah, it with a little not humor. Bad. And he's like, yeah. so I can't, I can't get mad at my mom. I have to go home now because my child, I, <laughs> I, I have to release that. my mom. Yes, from watching so she my can child. go see some purple so rain. Go. But we want, we want to see you again soon. We'll yes. promote all the things. We'll share it on our Instagram and the blog and the show notes. Everything. But my team, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Guys. And you are all welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Bye. bye. Girl, that was fun. Yeah, another fun conversation with you. Yes. If you have any feedback, email us feedback at keepingacasualpodcast.com. My Twitter is Bremixed, B R E E M I X E D. And I'm at MJ Radio Diva, any social platform. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Keeping It Casual Podcast. You get to see live videos, silly little photos of us, mm-hmm. all the dumb photos that we talk about. Anything yes. photo wise we talk about in the episode, it'll be there. We look forward to hearing from you. <laughs> we'll be back with more uh, gossip about nothing and everything. Bye. Bye.